Hello everyone, this is Tom. I'm, I'm just back from the Adriatic Coast. Nick's still there. He actually just texted me uh, today with a picture of himself with his foot leaning off a boat. He's off to some island, so I think that was his attempt to completely make me jealous and uh, it worked. I wish I, I wish I was back there. And since we've been gone, a lot of stuff's happened, interest rates and economic stuff's happened and uh, not, we're not here to talk to you about that today. We'll give everyone updates on that kind of stuff. But I am here with two really cool people and we've just been chatting over lunch. Um, I'll move the camera so that you can see. I don't know if you can see here. Here's Ruben. Hey, Ruben. There's Mike. Hey. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to do something a little different. I was going to ask Mike and Ruben. Um, and for those of you who don't know, uh, Mike works uh, with us at Rock Mark. Mike's uh, an integral part of the Rockstar team. And somebody who just gets a lot of stuff done. If you don't know Mike, uh, somebody to, to get to know, he really gets a lot of stuff done quickly. And uh, I was just going to ask him a couple questions to get his insight on a bunch of things, his thoughts on life a little bit. We were going to make this tied to real estate, but then we just thought, forget that. Let's just talk about life a little bit. And I'm going to talk to Ruben, who's in the middle of a $2 million or $3 million or $4 million or $5 million project. It was $2 million when he started, but I think now the house is going to be about $4 million or, or, or higher when he's done a big Oakville project that he's in the middle of. So we'll talk to him too. Um, so let's just jump right in. So I'm gonna, uh, I'll start here with Mike. So Mike, let me, I'll, I'll ask the question, then I'll put the camera to you. So let us, you know, if you could talk to the Mike DeZorno, you know, I won't say how old you are now, none of us are talking about our age anymore, uh, but uh, if you could talk to the Mike DeZorno that was 21, 23, 25, what would you tell that Mike? After everything you've been through in the last few years with real estate and helping a bunch of investors, you've probably helped over 100 investors buy properties now, but this isn't a real estate question, just what would you tell the Mike DeZormo of 21, 23, 24? Hey, Mike. Yeah. So, yeah, being on the spot and having to figure this out right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is uh, just keep going and you're going to get there. And uh, one of the good books that I've read is that 80-20 rule by, uh, I think it's... Uh, I forget as well. The Italian uh, yeah. economist. Yeah. But it's that 80%... Uh, um, which is futile, but you got to get through that 80% to get the, to get to your final result, which is that last 20%. It's like much like it was funny. I had a guy ask me today. Um, he said you're working out still, and I said actually no, I haven't had time, and uh, I've been dabbling in it here and there. But he's known me since my childhood, and uh, he said he can't gain muscle. And uh, I said you know what? Are you lifting enough weight? And uh, he said no. And I said that's exactly it. Those first eight reps that you do mean nothing. It's those last two, the, that final two, that that finish line that, that uh, get you the results. And that's the same in real estate. With the investors filling properties, for instance, you know, it may take a bit of time, but you gotta keep following the steps and you'll get there. Every house is filled. There's a great story at the end of that. So I guess it is just keep going and you'll get there. And, it, and do you think the Mike DeZormo of 21 years old, did he give up on stuff too early or did you push no. through there? Push Were through. you always pushing through even always, at that age? Always pushing through. Yeah. It, it's so hard because you got to get past that 80% of, of those efforts that you've done to finally gain and... and, and and do you, I'm really putting you on the spot here, yeah. do you have an example, because you've been through a lot in your life of like when you were younger that you almost gave up on something or you did give up that you wish you, you, you hadn't? No, no, yeah. always follow through. It's you've always, always been like that. Yeah. I don't know how you're built that way. <laughs> but we're all envious. We're all envious, Mike. Thanks, thanks. Okay, cool. Very good. Where's my thumbs up? There we go. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll switch over to Ruben. So Ruben, same question to you, you know, if you could talk to the Ruben that was 21 years old, 23 years old, I don't know, a time in your life, what would the Ruben today, you're in the middle of this monster build in Oakville, with it, it's had a few challenges, what would the Ruben today tell the Ruben uh, back then? Can you uh, give, us, give us some thoughts? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I think the one thing I would, I would say would be that really you have to believe in what you're capable of. I think a lot of times we don't live up to our true potential. Um, a case in point, if you, uh, if you look at what you're capable of doing in a matter of hours, in a matter of days, versus what you typically do in a matter of weeks, in a matter of months. And I'll give you an example. If you're going to be going away on a trip and all of a sudden you have like a week's worth of work that you've got to get done, but you only have two days, somehow you always manage to get that stuff done when the, when the dire need comes. Um, 
and more importantly, even I, I look at some of, some of the recent challenges with the bill, it's I, I typically take something on and just believe that you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna accomplish it anyway, um, even though if I don't have all the answers at that point in time, um, you really need to believe that it will work out because if you have to absolutely find a way. Um, it, and I, I, I use is, is that what you've been doing with this property that you're in the middle of? You've yeah. been absolutely having to find a yeah. way. Yeah, you know what? It's, 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 you put yourself where your back's up against the wall. That you don't really don't have any other options, and you just say, "Well, you know what? I'm gonna bite the bullet." And I'm so you've never built a four million, five million, whatever this. I don't even know. I'm yeah. throwing numbers out there. You've never built a four million dollar no, house not before. At all. And then you gotta remember, you know what? I didn't come from a position where I had the the financial resource to do it, but yet. You know what? I just said I'm going to take it on, and I'll I'll make it happen. And uh, here we are now at the final stages. It's all done, and it, um, it's cost a little bit more than I thought, but it's also worth a lot more than I ever imagined. So um, it's it, it's great. And uh, if I was going to tell that that Ruben, like, you know, 30 years uh, 30 years ago, right? That would have been like some 20 some odd years old. I would just tell him, um, you know, it's important that 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 fear is going to keep you on the straight and narrow. But don't let it inhibit you. You're going to do well, and you know the best is yet to come. So that's what I tell them. Cool. Thank you, Ruben. That was very, uh, very nice. I'm trying to give you the thumbs up there. So you know what I want to add for for those of you you know who are maybe just uh, meeting Mike and Ruben now. They're very, they're so humble. Yeah. They're, uh, they they get so much done. And I was just explaining to them that something I've recently observed with with people was we get asked a lot of what's the number one secret to real estate success or you know getting stuff done what's the number one secret and I've found that people like Mike DeZormo and Ruben Furtado who get a lot of stuff done and a lot of people that, that we're surrounded with who are just really you know accomplish a lot um, the biggest thing that they, they get done uh, the biggest thing that uh, that I can attribute to their success is not knowing the right thing to do not knowing the right people um, it's their energy level they have a super high energy level you know, if you talk to Ruben, he didn't tell you, but Ruben will get up bright and early in the morning. He'll work to the wee hours of the morning. Mike DeZormo is the same way. You know, people get a lot of stuff done. They have high energy levels. I was just talking to, to, uh, to Mike and Ruben about a, a, a 60-year-old guy who was in Croatia with us that's worth, you know, uh, quite a lot. And, uh, he, you know, one thing I observed about him is his energy level is so high. You know, so something to think about. If you're looking for your secret to success, also keep in mind that you need the you need to take care of your body, you need to take care of yourself, you need the right energy level. It's a really important ingredient in accomplishing anything you want to do. So that's it for now. We're back in, in Toronto. Nick will be back uh, shortly, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Take care, everyone.